it's a it's a nice healthy candle on that one and it's uh, just starting to the needles are just starting to develop on the on the candle and a lot of times I mean they can get I've, I've measured uh, I've measured these candles as long as 26 inches long before the needles start coming out on them but they're all different some of them can be short and the needles start coming out they're they're all they all behave differently seem like uh, This one here's got a little bit of uh, pine webworm, which creates a frass out of the needles. It eats the needles, and uh, and it's somewhat of a problem, but it usually doesn't hurt the tree totally. But I sort of watch for it and uh, clean them up whenever I find the the uh, webworm frass. Every every year or so, a couple of years, I, I for a while there, I was coming out here and, and uh, uh, sort of restocking <laughs> young ones in the, in the place places where I could fit them in, and uh, and they've, they've, some of them are doing real well. That's that's I think that's the biggest planted tree on on my property right there. That one getting pretty close to six inches in diameter. <clears throat> nice. And the way I plant these uh, is I uh, generally pick a little area like this and, and um, I'll take the shovel and I'll do a circle, just chisel down in the ground and cut the roots away from uh, whatever whatever is overgrown growing through the area. And I'll cut those roots out like that and I'll reach down and kind of clean the, clean the circle up and get as many of the roots out. But they're pretty much not going to compete anymore once they're cut like that. And then I uh, plant the tree right in the middle and keep an eye on it and make sure that nothing comes in.